Hey guys, my name is Ari, I'm the owner of EntermedSchool.com. This lesson is number two out of billion we are going to have in order to study for the IMAT by ourselves. Today we are going to talk about critical thinking and the first skill I want to teach you is assumptions. Let me give you an example for a question for assumption. I will read it out loud and you will see it on the screen. Which one of the following is an assumption of which this argument depends? So this kind of question is very repeatable but in different forms. When you see assumption, the word assumption, you should know that you need to find in the following way the right stuff we need to actually find, of course. Great, now don't check the answer. We're going to solve it together and to see how we are going to solve assumptions, skill questions in the future. So we have an assumption. The first thing after we read the paragraph and understand what the writer is actually mean, what the writer means, we need to find and to know assumption will never be inside the paragraph and also it will be obvious to the writer of the paragraph. It's something that's so obvious the writer isn't even need to mention and he is depending on it. It's obvious to him. Without it, the argument is weaker, much weaker most of the time. So without it, we are going to have just a baseless argument from this. We don't going to have any obvious statement. We're just going to have a very weak paragraph that isn't based on anything. Next, and this is the most important, it's going to lead you and to follow you actually the entire IMAT studies and the critical thinking. For every one of the seven type of questions we have in critical thinking, you always need to ask yourself why. Why is the argument is weaker if it's obvious to the writer that the assumption is that and that? Why without the assumption is the argument is weaker? Just go all the way around. Ask yourself why is this statement is baseless without the assumption why is this ba why is this statement is much weaker without this assumption when you have this answered and you can go to the statements to the answers and see yourself so assumption for these specific questions we are going to have an assumption it won't be appearing inside the statement and it's going to be obvious, so obvious to the writer of the paragraph, so it doesn't even appear inside the paragraph itself. But without it, the argument is much weaker. What do I mean? You, the writer is based on the fact that his assumption is true. And it, if it isn't true, his entire paragraph is baseless. So we need to find something that strengthen the paragraph of the of the assumption of the writer so and we need to ask yourself why why it is weaker why it is obvious and why and if of course it isn't appearing inside the text so let's go let's dive in inside the end inside the question and see if we are right most of the accidents involving young people were the fault of the young drivers okay Ask yourself, is this actually strengthening the assumption? Is this the assumption? Yes, because why? Why is this the assumption? Because without it, the argument will be much weaker because it will be baseless. You won't have any reason to write this entire paragraph without it to be correct. Without, if, it's, if it doesn't make sense, if everyone write and have the same statistically amount of car accident, you just don't have any base for to write this paragraph. So the the writer is it's obvious to the writer of the paragraph that the problem is within the uh, audience of the young drivers. It's obvious to the writer of the paragraph. So you answer the obvious. You answer the, if it's weaker or strengthen the argument and you ask yourself why and you, won't, you went all the way around. 
Thank you for joining me for this lesson. We are going to talk in the next lesson. We have six critical thinking skills left, so we are going to talk about each one in the future. I hope I helped you and give you another good alternative for uh, different courses because don't forget to enter to entermedschool.com and to actually get free online study materials and escort to study medicine in Italy in English. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.